hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so do not forget to pick up twin flames confessions my new deck the link is going to be in the description box down below it's 100 cards and they're so freaking beautiful so make sure you order your deck today Somebody talking some big shit already. I just heard Virgo. Girl. All right, uh uh, nah, 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 nah. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We gotta change the song. Cause I was getting a look, I was getting another song. So we gonna change the song real quick. Cause like, this, no. Okay, let's play something for the island teams, you know what I'm saying? Oh my gosh, my thing wasn't... Girl, my freaking microphone wasn't even on, so y'all probably didn't even hear that shit. So, we're gonna, we gonna change this one, because Rick Ross is a clown, I mean... Get the most out oh, of your shower I know and you your day with Nivea Nourishing Body Wash. It's the moisture... For those of y'all that don't know, huh, I go by the name of Knowledge. My boy, k Bob. Hey, yo, Bruce. Yeah, got him on this one. She's a team. All the clubs to these, man. Yeah, please believe, man. She's a team. All the clubs to these, man. Girl, don't tease, man. Thought I took you from the last man you was dancing with. From the last man you was dancing with. I gave myself a little props because you was looking fabulous. We did our thing for about one song. Now you're with another man. She's a tease, she's a simple-minded tease 
the reading these messages are general not every message is gonna pertain to you on a personal level so if you would like a personal reading that information is in the description box um i did change up my personal readings so yeah check that out now your i'm supposed to be doing a video request reading i know y'all lying like somebody something is pulling on my energy to do this video and to be honest with you, if I didn't do this video, I would, the other video would just be ass. Like, I can explain it. And what I mean by like somebody something, I don't feel like you're in a relationship. Like, I feel like you're single. Or I feel like, like situation vibes. Like, you know that, you know that um connection where it's like invisible loyalty or like invisible, not loyalty, but invisible like claim. Or, but it's really not clean because y'all not together. But you know what's so weird? I feel two different energies as well. And you know what? That's probably why the song thing happened. Okay, I feel like you got new. You got a new person that really wants to like step up and like show you different. They want a chance. This other person that's coming up in all of the energy. They're a fucking clown. So this definitely could be your ex. Um. This is so weird, because they... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Your person is super... I don't want to... I'm not going to say pathetic. They feel... Their energy feels pathetic. Is is the best way I can explain it to you, because they feel... They feel small compared to you. So, I don't know if you, like... If you, like, um rejected this person, or you told them about themselves, it's like this waiting game as well as what I'm feeling so like you you could have not responded to like an invite or you could have like not responded to a message or like your phone somebody also could be like locked up and they're mad that you're not putting money on the phone or that you're not like responding to their emails or their or their messages or something um but for others of you this is just like an ex that wants to like start talking again, but they don't want to make the first move because they want to feel like they're alpha now. Again, clown energy, you know what I'm saying? So let's get into this um, collective reading really quickly. What we're going to do is we're going to see like the energy that your person is like feeling about you. And then we're going to get into the messages and then into the tower reading. So let's get into this, you are, because... I need to get to this video request reading because it's going to be some motherfucking tea. You know what I'm saying? And I got to give the tea. I just heard Aries. So let's see. What's going on? How does your person currently feel? Um, Somebody's a hater. <laughs> Somebody's a big hater. Somebody's a big hater. I just heard Big Bertha. What is this? What y'all got going on? So like collective. Do y'all got multiple things happening? Like is there is there like haters as well as like a love interest that's just getting on your nerves how does the collective person currently feel about them what is in their emotions somebody is a big hater i keep on hearing that disappointed they're longing Safe. Um, I don't 
yo, this is about to get emotional. I don't want to go here, but I have to go here. Why? What is going on my lighting? I'm sorry, yo. I'm, so many freaking disruptions. Yeah, y'all got some freaking haters. Y'all got haters. There's haters in the mother freaking camp, all right? But anyway, the way that your person feels about you, they feel like you're literally the one that got away. Um, Another thing with this safe, this is so interesting because they're, they're, they're not showing me this, but they're making me feel this. So I'm just going to explain it. Okay, so for like my Tauruses out there, or even if you have any Taurus in your chart, like if you are a foodie, you would definitely understand this. Like, you know how, you know the difference of, like, eating in front of people that are, like, you know, your friends. Or, like, not even friends, because you could be comfortable with your friends. But, like, you know how how you eat, like, you know, differently around people than, like, in front of people. I mean, not in front of people. Than, like, with your family or at home. Like, um, how can I explain this? I feel like I'm not explaining it right. Like, you know how, you, how you're how you careful eating, like, when you're in public? Just to be, like, you know, just so you won't be a slob or just to have manners. But then when you get home and you open up that big bag of chips, it's, like, it's all, it's all smoke. You want all the smoke. Like, that, that's how this person views you. It's, like, you're their safe space. You're their safe haven. Oh, that movie could be significant. Um, the movie Safe Haven. Um, y'all could have, like, your first date, like at the movie theater or you met this person when you were really young because i am getting like history with this but yeah you're you're like they could eat a big bag of chips in front of you like they're home alone that's so cute but they're very aggravated and annoyed that you're not giving them any freaking energy i also just heard yoni so you could be very celibate right now it's just like you're not either you're not interested i do feel like you're kind of interested but it's just like they already feel like the opportunity has left them and they're waiting for you to like do something yeah somebody's shaking in their boots <laughs> somebody's shaking in their motherfucking boots that's why they was pulling on my dagger energy who is this i just heard no money but a car okay so somebody can have no money but they have a car Somebody can have a lot of things, but not a lot of money. And the other person can have a lot of money, but not a lot of things. That's weird. Strat, you got this person super vexed. Who else's ex was super vexed? Um, damn, depressed. Okay, so for those of you that are in no communication, I feel like this is going to hit for people that aren't in no communication. This person is stressing the fuck out of you, all right? They're very depressed because they feel like they can't find anyone like you. Like, they can't be themselves around anyone else. Like, they just, yeah, it's like, okay, for some of you, this person views you as, like, family. Like, they already view you as family. Okay, let's get three more. What's in their emotions? I feel like this person either motherfuckered you and it turned you cold but then when they wanted to stop being a motherfucker, it's like it was too late. Like, you already detached. And it's like, now they're regretting it. Somebody could be going through some karma. Lonely. Somebody could be dealing with a Virgo. I feel like this person just sits at the, in the house. Without, like, accomplishing anything. That's so weird. Yeah, this person feels like they need more to be with you. It's kind of giving me the energy of, like... You're getting everything that you want, and this person isn't. Now, for some of you, and this is going to be real crazy, this is a hater. What? I know, right? Just blew your mind. That's weird. It's like somebody feels like you're the reason why they missed an opportunity. And, like, you could have something, like, on lock. This could be, this could be a man. This could be, like, a job. This could be um, just happiness or, like, the, 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 the level that you're at in your life right now, somebody's very irritated that you're getting what you want and they're not. They're depressed. They're lonely. Um, what is this? For some of you, you could do something like, um, you could do something online or where you get like a lot of attention. So you could be well known either online or like in your community. Which is very popular. Or people just fucks with you. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, 
that's so weird. This person is looking at you as like you're the reason for their inadequacy, but it's just like, no, like, what the hell were you doing? What? What is this? One more. Surprised. Bit. Your. This is facts. This is facts. And you know what's so weird? This person might be watching this. That's so weird. So, this could be like a friend that you like watch videos like this with. Or or this could be somebody. Okay, this could be confirmation for you. This could be somebody that like watches tarot readings as well. So, if you know that your friend circle like doesn't really watch tarot, but there's one that does, that could be confirmation for you. But yeah, there's a freaking hater. And they're like, they're projecting their failure because you have success. It's like, I'm failing because you're successful. And it's like, bitch, did you put the work in? No. Like, who is this? Sorry, y'all. I had to, like, pop off real quick because I hate, g <laughs> I hate giving messages like this. Super corny energy. It's like, what? How? People are very narcissistic. I just heard Cancer and Sagittarius as well. Look, my lighting is messing up, and I'm trying to fix it. Hello. Are we here? Okay, there we go. So let's see, what is, how does collective person feel about them? Any messages from their person that they have on their mind currently? Child, you could have something on Instagram. You could do something on Instagram. Somebody wants your position. Again, I was getting that energy like not only love is kind of like bitter and hating, but it feels like there's a, there's a bitch that's hating on you. So do you have the juice? Or are these are these bitches just on your deck? All right, let's see. <laughs> I want to prove. <laughs> I want to prove that I am in control of things. So you know what? You know why I'm laughing, you are because this person wants to prove to you that they're in control of like the relationship and how things go. Like like texting you. Like nah, I'm gonna text you when I want to text you. I'm gonna fuck with you when I want to fuck with you. Like control like that. But they don't even have control over their own life, let alone their feelings and like what they got going on. Cause they want more and they're not getting it. So this person wants to control you, even though they can't even control they damn self. And again, for some of you, this is a freaking hater. All right. Yeah. Look, cause you shocking your ops. You really shocking your ops right now. Damn, that's pressure. Incoming reconciliation. Panicking over your success and growth. Talking about your sex life. Jealous ass coworkers watching you. You are so much freaking jealousy. And you know what's so crazy? I feel like these bitches have multiple reasons to be jealous about you. Because you the shit. Period. And that's how it should be. Now, make sure y'all are protecting yourself with, like, your evil eye stuff and everything like that. Because I feel like there are people or a person that wants to, like, control the outcome of whatever you got going on. This could be career. Even though they can't control their career. Or they can't control how they, you know what I'm saying, operate things. It just feels like somebody wants to live your life more than they want to live their own life that's weird to me now you have an ex that wants to come back in they're not reaching out to you because they want to feel like like they are in control of of themselves like no I, I need to maintain control this person could have a leo placement or they could be a leo um or aries or even a taurus as well i feel like they're gossiping about like your sex life like what you're doing right now also, your coworkers are gossiping about just sex life. Like, what you, what could you be doing right now? I feel like people are confused about about you. How does collective person feel? Bitter ass male ex, child, bitter. I have other options I'm involved with. So this person could be worried about everything that you got going on while they have other options that they're involved with or this could be you. You could you could be you could be choosing to like mess with your other options and not mess with this person. And I do feel like y'all relationship used to be very off and on or like it it just is off and on and they're shocked that like you're not giving to them. Yeah, they're going to come in super pussy though like like what 
your the 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 dick game better be good all right if like you're gonna accept this person back because they're very their energy is very goofy like i feel like somebody wants to come off like a like a um look my damn thing is shut in somebody's wig could be shut in <laughs> um yeah i feel like a hater's wig is shut in or i don't know they could just be shut in girl anyway um <laughs> why am i seeing a werewolf some of y'all could be dealing with a person that smiles in your face but like when you leave they like they like hate you like they just they can't stand you like i'm getting that energy like werewolf energy um anyway yeah somebody that you were off and on with is very shocked that you're like not coming back Somebody might have an STD. I'm secretly competing with you. Okay, we gonna get into this. And never even planned on... Yeah. So, listen, y'all. This is facts. Look, all of the energy are goddess to me. This is a hater. This is your ex. Motherfucking period. Never never even... Look, I can't even talk. Never even planned on leaving this connection. Never will. Can't release you. Super celibate. I feel like somebody is sexually loyal to you. And they're mad because they feel like you're not sexually loyal to them. Some of you could be like, you know what? I'm not going to have sex. Like, you don't deserve this, Yoni. So, like, you're just super celibate. Again, you can have some Virgo in your chart. Or you can be dealing with the Virgo. Now, I don't like this energy. I feel like there's, like, a hoe or somebody that's very promiscuous that, like, is competing with you. What? This person could have an STD. You know what, let's clarify this. Who is this goofy? Because, child. Right, you are. So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to clarify to see who's secretly competing with you. And I am going to drop those readings on, like, who's jealous with you. Because they're even coming up in personal readings. And I really don't like when, like, energy like that comes up in personal readings. Um, Because I feel like it's very important for you to know who's jealous of you. It's not a low vibrational thing to inquire about, like, you know... Who, who's not who's not rooting for you or who's jealous of you or who's like secretly wishing on your downfall because you could be blessing your haters without even knowing it so for you to have clarity on like you know who's hating with who's hating on you or who's hating with you oh so there could be a couple of bitches or or dudes that are hating on you it's very important especially if you're woke to know these things because people really like jealousy is literally a disease people die behind jealousy you know what i'm saying and i always want to make sure that y'all are protecting your energy and especially your intuition as well because i just saw an owl so you definitely got some sagittarius in your chart or scorpio i just heard aries rising aquarius rising okay who is secretly um competing with the collective who is this weirdo? Could be a cancer. Somebody that you moved on from. I really feel like you just on your high horse. Yeah, definitely could be a cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. It could be definitely could be a water sign. Or an earth sign. Who's competing? Be careful of, like, jealous friends or, like, jealous ex-friends spreading rumors is also what I'm hearing. Like, there could be somebody that's, that's uh, spreading, that's talking, like, spreading lies that are, like, not even, like, where did you even come up with this stuff? Like, stuff like that. Um, so that other people won't like you. That's so weird. You, again, you could be well-known or, like, you could be an activist or you could work in your community or... You could have a car, and this person doesn't have a car, and they're mad because, like, <laughs> what? Empress? For some of you, this could be a mother. But I really feel like, I feel like this is why someone's competing with you. Okay, if you're a woman, there could be a man that's competing with you. Now, regarding relationships, yeah. Regarding relationships, this first this blah, blah, blah. <laughs> this person feels like they need to be on your level, and they're not. This is weird because I really feel like the Page of Pentacles is trying to compete with the Empress. It's like not only is this person not even close to being on your level, it's just like 
apples and strawberries literally like y'all not even y'all not even the same fruit could be an aries the emperor one more you got the empress and the emperor and then the two of wands y'all i'm getting like so much rage from this emperor because i'm an intuitive reader and there's so much rage. I don't even feel like this person's an emperor. They just want to be an emperor to you because you're the empress. So, again, relationships. This could be a situation where, like, you're moving on. You're focusing on your children. Um, you could just be focusing on, like, your work. Like, your baby. Um, your house could be your baby. Like, just cleaning and, like, decluttering stuff. Or even, like, looking for, like, a new wardrobe is also what I'm getting. You could be getting your hair done just looking cute or even like your nails done i feel like you're really focused on your money or you're really focused on like living in the moment the things that are going to make you happy um even like creating things as well and it's like this person is waiting for you to like make a move not only towards them but like say something out your neck crazy I feel like you should say something out your neck crazy since they want they want you to they if somebody is waiting for you to like see something out of your neck crazy see something out of your neck crazy like what you gonna do that's the energy I'm getting because like again I'm getting like hater vibes some of you could have um a north node in in Libra or Aries is also what I'm getting what is this emperor what is this emperor got going on bored I feel like somebody just wants to be in your energy I I knew it I fucking knew it resentful hateful as hell and for some of you this is a bitch yeah that part it could be a fire sign or a water sign or even like an earth sign look hateful depressed inspired and discouraged I'm getting the same energy y'all what the heck? It's like somebody is really resenting your 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 success because it's like in your success they're failing. But I also feel like this person is inspired by whatever your success was about. Like again, your success is discouraging someone, which is so weird because anybody's success should like you know inspire them. I feel like this is where they where they really blah, blah, blah. look. See, look, hater energy. This is where they what they really feel. And like behind closed doors, this is what this is their real energy. But it's like they they get wrapped up in their depression and their hate hateness for you and their hatred towards you because don't nobody want to fuck with them. I feel like this could be a situation where this person is very toxic and like not only do love interests get bored with them, but also like friends get bored with them or abandon them because they don't know how to talk, they don't know how to they don't know how to act. This person could just be very, like, I kind of feel like somebody feels like they're more than what they are. Like, that's facts. Because this emperor energy, this ain't a real emperor to me. This is not a real emperor to me. This is somebody that wants to be an emperor. And they're mad that you're an empress. <sighs> Child. You know what's so crazy? I don't think that this person going to say shit to you. Like, I feel like they talk shit about you behind your back. But look, they pussy. So, you're, I'm ending this reading because I can't. So I hope everyone enjoyed this reading. Um, do not forget to like this video and comment down below if it resonated with you. And I will see y'all in the celebrity reading. Alright? Because that's what I'm about to get into. Because I know these bitches is lying. <laughs>